Hi, welcome to the channel. My name is Emma and I'm an Amazon FBA seller. I've been doing this for the last 18 months. So I upload these videos just so I can share any general advice, hints and tips with you that I think you might find useful. So it has been a little while since I've given you an update on my journey and what I'm doing in general within the business. So I thought today I'd just take a few minutes, just give you a general update on everything that's happening. Now I am a big believer in setting goals and having something to aim towards. Having that goal in mind will just keep you motivated and I think it just helps keep you focused and keep you working harder as well. Whether that just be a small goal for a few weeks down the line or whether it's a much bigger goal for months away, it's always good to just have an idea in your mind. Now at the beginning of 2022 I set myself five goals. So the first one was to create an online support network. So I just wanted this to be a place where people could go with their questions or their achievements, speak to like-minded people with absolutely no judgment at all. I'll pop a link below to the Facebook group we created, but I think this is definitely a goal that can be ticked off that list. So with over 1200 members and more being added to daily, this has become a really friendly group within this crazy Amazon world. You'll find lots of people in there that you can chat to, ask questions that are all at different selling levels, and we work really hard to keep it spam free as well. Now goal number two was to upload regular YouTube videos. Again, this one is going great. It can be a challenge at times, but with anything, the key here is to plan and to be prepared. By planning my days out, I know exactly what I'm doing and when I'm doing it. This definitely helps keep me organized. It makes the days more manageable and it makes sure I get some downtime as well, which is really, really important. By uploading these videos and getting to share my journey with you, I find it also helps to keep me on track. So I generally upload three to four times a week, but if there is ever anything in particular that you'd like to see, please do let me know and I'll do my very best to include it in the future. And goal number three was to open more wholesale accounts. Now whilst I do have quite a few wholesale accounts already, I wanted to branch out and try new things and create some new unique bundles as well. So the goal here was to open one new wholesale account every quarter. Now opening these accounts isn't always easy. Some wholesalers will turn you away if Amazon is your only selling platform. Now luckily I've not had any issues so far with the accounts that I've created. Now I haven't ordered from them all yet because I've spent the last few months planning ahead, but this leads me on to goal number four. So goal number four was to create unique bundles. Now if you're unsure what a bundle is, it's very simple to explain. It's basically getting multiple items, putting them together to create one listing. So an example of this would be a shampoo and conditioner being bundled together and being sold as one product. During my first year on Amazon, I sold lots and lots of bundles like this, but I didn't sell any unique bundles of my own. Now, if you can get it right, there's a lot of money to be made in unique bundles. It can be really difficult to get started, but once you get that ball rolling, once those sales start happening, you could see a huge increase in your profits. Now, the key here is to do your product research. You're always best to find a niche that interests you that you know will sell really well. Now I didn't want to set my target too unrealistically high, so I set a goal of one unique bundle every month for 12 months throughout 2022. Now I do have a lot of experience in the niche I've chosen, so I have found this to be a huge benefit. I already knew my target market, I know what items go well together, and even what seasons I do better with the sales. Up to the end of June I'd already created 10 unique bundles, and this is before I even start thinking about Q4. Now with each bundle, I wanted to make sure they were going to sell well and they wouldn't just sit on Amazon shelves cost me money. So I did a test run first and I just sent in six units. Now this was both really, really good and a mistake all at the same time. A few of my bundles were slow moving and it took a couple of months before those sales started to happen. But then some of my other bundles sold immediately and I was having to rush to get more stock in before that BSR started dropping off. Now I didn't run any PPC campaigns for these listings, so any sales I got were because I had a clear, concise product listing with clear pictures and I used the right keywords. Using the right keywords is so important, another reason you should do your research first and know that product inside out. Now I know how to create these listings, I feel so much more confident in them and I have so many plans as we fast approach Q4. Now I have been asked a few times now about how to create a new bundle and if I can do a video on this. So this will definitely be coming soon. I'll just give you all the basic information you need to get started. So my fifth and final goal was to become a six figure seller. Now this is currently the only goal that is not going as planned. Now this year started off amazingly well for me and I was on track for the first few months but then those sales started to drop off. Now I started to find that a lot of my listings were becoming oversaturated. There was so much competition that I was struggling to compete and I was having to drop that price right down just to get my initial investment back. Now this coupled with bouts of illness and other work and life commitments just meant that those sales were not what I'd hoped or planned for. 
Now I had been putting a lot of time into those wholesale accounts and setting up the unique bundles, so I didn't actually spend as much time on online and retail arbitrage as I would normally, so it was expected that these sales were going to drop a bit anyway. That being said, the bundles have gone amazingly well, and this is really made up for that lack of stock that I've had. Whilst June was my worst sales month this year, it was also my second most profitable. So for the first part of the year, I was working at around a 30 to 40% return on investment. The first month that I started selling those bundles, this increased to 57%, and throughout June, this averaged at 110%. My sales in June were half of what they were in February, but I walked away with more profit. Unique Bundles is definitely where the money is for me, and it's definitely what I need to be concentrating on in the coming months. So although those sales are down, I have got some plans in place to try and turn this around, and that profit margin, the return on investment is going up, so that is never a bad thing. We'll just wait and we'll see what the year brings, but there's certainly no pressure right now as there's a lot of things going on. I'd love to know how your year's going. Have you got any goals that you've absolutely smashed already? Please do let me know below or jump in our Facebook group. I always think it's good to not just share the problems you've got, but share any achievements you've made as well. If you've worked really, really hard, you should be proud of what you've achieved. So that was my update as it stands six months into 2022. I don't know where this year will take me, but whatever happens, I'll be sure to update you at the end of the year. So for now, thank you very much for watching. Take care and I'll see you soon. Bye-bye.